Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is Van Amsen and today we are tackling the infamous text justification problem number 68 uh, on a lead coil daily challenge. So it's a fantastic challenge, uh, especially for interview. So first thing first, understanding the problem. We are essentially building a mini justify feature for a worked uh, processor. Uh, and given a list of words and a max white, we need to format these words so that they are justified on both left and right. So uh, there are some uh, nuances, but uh, that's the gist. So let's have a look at example to uh, clarify. So with the word, this is an example and max white of 16, our output should be like this. So maybe a visual uh, representation is easier. So it's justified text. So notice the varying spaces uh, between the words. So that's the magic we are about to implement. So uh, let's start coding and we will employ a greedy strategy, trying to fit as many words on a line as possible. Then we will distribute spaces using modular arithmetic. So it's simpler than in sounds. Uh, so I promise. The core idea is to pack as many words in a line as we can and without exceeding the max white. And once we uh, have got our line, we will distribute spaces between the words. And if spaces uh, don't divide evenly among the words, we use modulo to add more spaces to the leftmost gaps. And for the uh, final line, we simply left align text. So uh, let's implement it and then I will uh, dive deep into the code. So result line white will be ri, ri and zero. And for w in words, if white plus len w len line, greater than max white or i in range max white minus white line i modulo len of line minus one or just one and plus uh, space and result line white will be result plus join line also array and zero and line will be plus w and white will be plus len of w and finally return result uh, plus join uh, line yeah. uh, join line and l just Max white. So, okay, let's uh, run it to verify uh, it's working. Uh, so, yeah, all is uh, working. So, uh, as we can see, and what we did. So, now uh, diving deeper, the logic. So, we start by initializing three main variables. So, uh, res, so uh, this will store the final result containing each justification line. Uh, and uh, line is a temporary list to hold the words for the current uh, line. And white, uh, this keeps track of the total character length of the words added to line. And then uh, the main logic uh, of our solution begins as we look through each word, uh, through each word in, in our word list. So for each word, uh, W, uh, we check if adding it to the current line along with spaces uh, would exceed the max uh, white. So the expression white plus uh, len plus len line, so uh, this one, uh, gives the total white of the line if we were to add the current word. And here len line provides the minimum number of spaces required since uh, there is at least one space between each word. 
and if adding the word would exceed this wide, it's time to justify the current line. Uh, so the inner loop uh, distribute spaces among the words in line. So the modulo arithmetic ensure extra uh, spaces are added to the leftmost gaps between words. So it's a clever trick to guarantee even uh, distribution and the expression uh, I uh, modulo uh, len line minus one or uh, one. So uh, this one helps decide where to place the extra uh, space. And after uh, justifying the line, we append it to our uh, results. So uh, simple and uh, rest line and uh, white to the next set of words. So uh, then we add words to the line. So if there is still room on the current line for the word, we add it to line and update the uh, white. And once we have processed all words, there is likely a partial line left. So this represents the final line of the text, which uh, gets left justifies. So we use uh, Python L just method to ensure it takes up the full uh, max white, uh, padding uh, it with spaces on the right if necessary. So, and there we have it. This solution is uh, quite efficient uh, for uh, packing the words into a line and justifies the text using the modulo operation. So the modulo helps us decide uh, where to place the extra space, ensuring a balanced look. So now let's uh, submit it for unsynthesis cases to verify it's working. So yes, it's working. And as you see, it's bit uh, 83% with respect to uh, random. So uh, I have run it uh, previously, so it was even uh, 94%, uh, but yeah, maybe it's uh, different uh, test cases or something. So basically it's quite uh, efficient and also uh, code is short and elegant. And the beauty of this approach lies in its simplicity. So we are using Python list and string model operation uh, and does a heavy lifting of the uh, space distribution. Uh, so, all right, uh, that's a wrap up of our uh, live coding uh, session. I hope you found it uh, enlightening. And if you like uh, seeing implementation in other programming languages, uh, check the description below. And as always, hit the like button, share and subscribe for more coding adventure, tutorials, and much more. And as always, keep practicing, happy coding, and see you next time.